Hey guys, this is London from I So Love London on YouTube, and you are watching 3LW TV. Welcome to 3LW TV. I'm Lonel Williams. And I'm London. This is London of I So Love London. We also love Chicago because that's where we're hanging out. Tonight. Exactly. I mean, look at my city. It's awesome. You guys should be here. You should definitely be here. <laughs> London is my special guest on today's episode. If you're not familiar with him, you must, must check out his videos. Let's have a look. While most members were in the forums fighting, other members were busy building threads asking for sex. You heard me right. Member SWA Most Wanted built the thread titled, Who Wants My Dick? And B.E.C. Who wants your tits? Who wants your tits? Girl, please, you might as well have left him in a two-week coma. She is right, Paris. I have to do this on my own. Then do it, bitch. So, Lanelle, we have the perfect seat, perfect view. Now it's time for the perfect interview. Guess who's being interviewed? Who? <laughs> Not me. You. I think your viewers actually want to know a little bit more about you. Now it's time for you to be in the hot seat. Don't you guys think? Okay, I wasn't really prepared for this. I came with a stack of questions for you. <laughs> surprise, surprise. But London's gonna flip the script on my show. Okay. Exactly. I'll say, well, I'm flexible. Let's just call my Don't read into that so too much. The first question is What is the most attractive trait in a man? His energy. Energy? Okay. That's and that's not necessarily physical or tangible, but it it's really has to be what his energy is all about. Okay. Like there's the always there, there's a physical energy, there's a spiritual energy, there's a sexual energy. So is it like his swag? I think that's what you kids are calling it now. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> the perfect. Swag. Yeah, it's, it's his swag. I guess that's exactly what it is. And what is the most attractive trait in a woman? Her swag. Definitely. She still has to, to carry herself. Okay. I mean, uh, just with that kind of that aura of confidence, confidence. and I agree. that I am beautiful and not from a conceited standpoint but from the standpoint of I am beautiful from within because yes. honey God made me this way and I am everyone tell me what do love mean to you the word love like love <laughs> that's another one of those dirty four letter words dirty <laughs> <laughs> uh, love means to me it means it means walking in your truth and, and it's a it's a love I for like that, walking in your truth. Yeah, it's it's a love for like what the creator has given you. Mm. And that when you when you connect with that, all everything else, you know, stems from that. We get so caught up I think in the ego part of it. Okay. And and getting love, a little bit. Yeah. So you asked, but I was like <laughs> But we get yeah, because you, we get caught up in the in the ego uh, of all that. But it's really love is really having your connection with the source. And you, then everything else stems you from You make that. it sound so poetic. If you really, if you really get deep and make that connection, mm -hmm. uh, and kind of walk in your divine truth, then everything else flows. I like it when you say, um, like, walk in your own truth, because I think a lot of people really need to hear that. You know, especially like these closeted guys. Walk in your own. I almost cursed. I'm sorry. That's what you can walk, <laughs> walk in your own speech. truth. <laughs> okay, so question number three is, what do you love about this life? I love being a full participant in life. Okay. And as India Ari has a new song on her album, Beautiful Day. And she talks about, you know, waking up in the morning wondering what life will bring me today. What, what life is going to bring me today. So she's no longer talking about I am not my hair. <laughs> well, she got, she I got love her, you, India. <laughs> she got her man now. So she's all getting therapy and all that, you know. It's, it's brilliant. Okay. But I, I play that song in the morning, every morning. I mean, I, I play it several times throughout the day. But it's just so... 
it's just where I am. It is inspiration. I'm noticing that so far you are really about self awareness. I can tell. You know, walking your own truth, shed everything out, and you know, get into yourself. So, Absolutely. You know, I can tell you're about people actually knowing themselves. And I think you uh. mentioned that in one of your interviews. Like, know yourself and have your own shit together before you jump into somebody exactly. else's. Okay. And you'll find that when you, the more you, the more confident you become. I mean, let me clarify: confidence <laughs> is not conceit. There's a whole no. It's a difference. Right. It is a, a whole total different thing. difference. Yeah. But when you have that confidence, mm -hmm. you start to attract, it, and people start to notice that. I always say, you know, don't beat me over the head with your beliefs and mm -hmm. trying to change me and make me. You know what? Don't talk about it. Be about it. Exactly. And when you walk in that, and when you stand in your light, when you stand in your own light. It shines and people, they gravitate towards it. And that influences them much more than me beating you over the head telling you what to do, you know, like a big hypocrite. What makes you cry? Wow, what makes me cry? So I'm kind of taking him to a dark spot. I really want you guys to know this man inside and out. It just depends what moves me. Because sometimes I cry uh, and it's happiness. Uh, what I mean, about a Kleenex commercial? No, I'm not me. I'm not that. I'm sorry. I'm not, sorry. Not, I like you had this whole inspirational thing going <laughs> well, on. Well, at first, I, I had to make sure that I heard you. I said, did you say a Kotex commercial or a Kleenex? Okay. Did you say a tampon commercial? <laughs> okay. I'm like, am I having a headache? Okay. <laughs> okay. Go but on. Uh, no, it's. Uh, I just kind of like when you when you live fully and you live in the spirit and you live in your, you know, when you stand in your light. I, I could cry at tears of joy. I mean, I could wake up and. Uh, things just are in complete order and that might bring me to tears um, recently I had to attend uh, uh, home going services a funeral for a very good friend that brought me to tears um, and it wasn't so much tears looking um, looking at the casket or you know looking at the, the corpse because I knew my friend wasn't there but it was more so the tears of of trying to comprehend why why was he gone so young and how do I continue to live and and let his light and legacy yeah. uh, influence me the way that it did when he was here physically okay so. all right so if I was to look you dead in your eye right now so let me look you dead in your eye let <laughs> <laughs> me put on my serious face okay um, and say the word infinity what would you say and I get it okay. and the reason that I get That's it is because Possibility is infinite. Uh, okay. uh, life is infinite. Joy is infinite. Mm -hmm. That's really what the what the, the circle of life is all about. It's you know no limitations, oh, and it's wow. not like you don't have those challenges. I mean, every day some shit is going on that you know somebody's <laughs> trying to pull you down. Everything is sounding so peachy with this. <laughs> <laughs> it's work with the though. Clouds. It's work. How would you like people to perceive you? I like people to perceive me as that is the brother who gets it and by who gets it it's like he really knows how to live life mm -hmm. he understands that it's work mm -hmm. and that it's a process and you don't ever just reach a level and you can just chill out right, it's right. always some some other higher yeah. level of learning and I I think I want to be perceived as someone who gets that and not someone who preaches that but mm -hmm. someone who lives that you don't always see the 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 struggle because I don't always maybe necessarily share that right away because you got to be careful who you feed your energy to no this is true so this is true a quote um a co-worker actually gave me a pamphlet and it had this quote on it and it said be careful who you allow in your inner circle because they can destroy you quicker than you can destroy yourself Ooh, amen co-worker <laughs> <laughs> and i always say it's like you know if look around in your own personal life if it's fucked up or it's crazy and chaotic Understand that it is nothing but a direct reflection of your level of consciousness. So if you want to change all of that, then you've got to change from within. The life that I live right now was Which not... is a fabulous <laughs> life, okay? <laughs> he jet sets across the world. Paris, Milan, China tomorrow. China tomorrow. I mean, Chicago, L.A., New York. I mean... But you know what, London? The, the thing is, I don't have the patent on happiness and joy. Right. And... We're all entitled to it, and we all have. We all can tap into the same thing, but it's not. You can't. You can't again looking externally. Oh well, look what she has and what she right, has. Because right. I did that, mm -hmm. and that was actually when I was probably at my in my spiritual vacuum mm. and at my lowest years ago. It's been years, oh, wow. but and I was like, well, you know what? Wait a minute. I'm working around all these people that have 
more than me. And they're living and, their life. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm not appreciative. Right. And that's when I had to stop and be like, okay, you know what? I've only got this box of ramen noodles and some corn, and yes. this is all I got to eat today, but let me bless this. It, oh, oh. <laughs> you know what? You just hit it on the head when you said um, you weren't appreciative. I appreciate everything I have in this life right now. You know, I wake up every morning and I pray. I say, thank you, God. You know, I might not have my dream loft apartment, but I have amazing friends, have an amazing wardrobe. And, you know, <laughs> I love my job and I'm genuinely happy. Right. You know, I'm genuinely happy. So, I mean, I, I get it.